they finally done it. Someone from a big company has made an earbud, or at least a part of an earbud, that is battery replaceable. Not the buds themselves, but apparently the battery of the case is replaceable. And that, you know, that is a baby step worth applauding. And I'm gonna try to do it. I'm gonna try to open up this case in this video. But first, let's look at the rest of what's in this box. These are the two A's, the Pixel Buds 2A. And they come with some tips. They come with like a little instruction graphic, pictograph thing. Oh, look at these tips, they're colored. They're like lilac. Extra small, small, and large. That means medium is on the buds already. There they are. I don't know if these tips correspond to like a colorway option. It looks like they do. It looks like they do. It also looks like this has, is that an RGB strip or is it just like a solid, I think it's just a plastic strip. It kind of looks like a diffuser, like what I don't like on the Tesla Model 3s now, the new ones. I think it's kind of cringe that they have that. Have you seen that? Colton has one of those cars. I was like, I almost had to tuck and roll out under the pavement. <laughs> I'm not looking at this yet. We're finishing this. This looks like it's, if not recyclable, made from recycled material, uh, which is very good. And there's no, is there a cable? This is just a little book. There's no, <laughs> look at this thing. This is like a little pocket Bible. It's like a phone book for ants. That's insane, but there's no, there's no charging cable. That, that's insane. You, you guys can sense I'm kind of unhinged right now. Speaking of hinges, always like to test the sound, like the fidget ability of it. You know, just in case you want to take public transit and just mess with people. Don't take them out though, play the music from the speaker on your phone. It has that familiar like enemies from portal kind of industrial design egg shape thing. The diffused LED light indicator and the hardware pairing button right there you get to press. What I look for in earbuds is a really tactile pairing button. Oh yeah, she's good for 50 million clicks. And of course, USB-C charging on your bottom. Critically though, no discernible way to open this up and tear it down. Uh, so I'll keep looking. If I, if I look in here I can s and squint, I can see there are actually two tiny screws. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, Peter. If that's how, what you have to do to replace it, I think it's probably gonna be in professional territory. Maybe I have to open this up and like pull out the innards. Uh, but before we do that, let's take a look at the buds. Really glossy on the inside. Um, I like to do a little test where I try to see like, you know, if I was really inebriated or something like that, can I still figure out which one goes where? Like, do they go in easily? Can I put them back in the case like without looking? Oh, that was, that, that did it. That's pretty easy. And if you mess it up, geez, I just can't. <laughs> And if you do, can you just, what? <laughs> wow, they did it. They're James proof. I can't even demo them going in stupidly. There's also a screw at the bottom of each one of these earbud wells. That's a star pattern. I'm gonna try unscrewing that to get at the battery. Magnetic tip versus magnetic case. Like, <laughs> eh, give me that, come here, come here. Give, fucking, come here. If I brick this, the video's over before I even get to listen to them. I should probably do this last, but you know what? I'm, oh. I'm doing it for you guys, cool. This whole thing came off. Weird, I'm just looking at, it looks like a like a controller, like a GameCube controller or something, you know, with a like, rubber pad on the backside of the of that button, which is I guess should be expected. And then you can also see that this this light, like the plastic's thinner there to allow the light to go through. Now that we got her in her birthday suit here, uh, yeah, you can see it still functions. This is like, it's so cool to see it like this. Do you think anyone will just run it, run it naked like this? <laughs> kind of cool. And then the, they have this little paper tab. And if you give it a pull, oh, this whole thing slides out. And there's like these little kind of pogo pins on the inside. And then this is like the battery caddy. It connects from that little pad right there and holds the battery. Rechargeable lithium ion battery, 1600 amphitheater parkway Mountain View. I, th I thought that was going to tell me the milliamp hours or something. No. Okay, this battery module, I have a feeling you wouldn't actually get to replace that little little candy on the inside. You'd probably replace the whole caddy and that. It's probably glued in there. It doesn't seem to want to come out and it's also, I don't want to say keyed, but this little bit almost looks like a ribbon, a ribbon that's like gone through there and bent over. Now on here it says g.co slash pixel repair, which brings you to a generic site. So you got to type in your what number is this? A serial number? 
and they put it in such a convenient spot. <laughs> it's actually written in the well in here, but it's not written straight down, it's written on the lip of it. So in order to read that, you have to hold it like this and shoot your eye to try to read this thing that is blocked by this thing. It's the worst and it's so tiny. Guys, we paused for a second. We had like three different people try to read this. We had like our phone flashlights on it. It's insanely tiny. So, okay, thank you, but like make this easy on me. Okay. Going through the website, it doesn't really look like they have it set up yet where like there's definitely not a product page where you can just buy these right now. I don't know if that'll ever be a thing. Maybe you have to contact them and they'll send you one. I don't know how it's gonna work, but I'm glad that there's you know some opportunity or room for it to possibly work at some point. We'll see. There is a little QR code on this thing though. I'm gonna try that. If your own phone can't scan the QR code, you got problems. It says move back to improve focus, Reese. That means the people who work there don't run pixels. All right, enough with the case. Let's get these in the ears and see how they fit. They are different than the last ones because they don't have these like big little dangly wings anymore. They do have these little nubbins on them. Um, but overall, they're kind of smaller and lighter. They're stemless, which means you're gonna be relying on the touch capacitive swipey dealy. Oh yeah, all right. Noise canceling is on. Ugh. They feel pretty connected to my body, you know? They're one with my cranium. I just don't want to headbang too hard right now. I'm very, I'm very, I was on a plane today. I'm stiff. DMS did say that on repeated tests with this, he was able to get a very consistent seal in our dummy head. You even got it to seal with two different sizes of ear tips, which wasn't true of last year's. I probably need two different sizes. You guys ever do that? One medium, one large? It feels wrong. <laughs> That's actually not statistically uncommon. Oh, this is cool. I like to plug this back in now. Yeah, that's satisfying. If you're talking to me, I can barely hear you. Oh, sorry, you're cancelled. Here, let me try to let me try the ambient noise. Is it gonna I haven't even paired them. <laughs> that's why I can't change modes. Let's get these turned on and listen to music and look at graphs right after this message from our sponsor. Thanks to Delete Me for sponsoring this video. In a world where you need an email or phone number to sign up for just about everything, bleh, Delete Me's data removal service can help you keep that information secure. They'll comb through exhaustive lists of data brokers looking to profit off of your personal identifiers and send regular removal requests on your behalf. And with their family plan, you and up to three other loved ones can receive their protection as well, with each person receiving individualized reports. Go to joindeleteme.com slash short circuit and get 20% off a plan today. I was on a flight today with like XM5s and uh, I don't think they seal very well with my head because the noise canceling sucked. You're like, I th take it on and off and it's like, is there even a difference? These, big difference. All right, I held down the pairing button. Boom, here they are. Let's connect. Mm, add Pixel Buds 2A to Find Hub. So you can locate the device when it's, even when it's disconnected. <laughs> Use it in a legal way. <laughs> Don't just slip this into a stranger's back pocket and use it to find out where they live. This noise canceling is better than the Nothing th Pro 3s that I tried last time. Okay, these I would say are for bass heads, but they're not like comically wrong. Um, ooh, my ears, man. <laughs> like uh, the Nothings were out of the box before I put that special EQ that uh, Labs made onto them, which helped it a lot. Um, those were like, th my music is obviously playing incorrectly. And those were some of the AirPods Pro 3s, honestly, in the amount of bass. These, pull up the graph. These do have a lot of bass. Within that range of what most people like, it's on the upper end. And I would say like, these are kind of bassier than I would want, at least for metal. I was just listening to rock or music, right? The problem though with these is this scooped out trough in like the upper mids low treble over here. They have this warm sound um, but it just feels like something's missing. It feels like the whole thing is kind of too bassy, but then with like sparkly kind of overcooked highs on top. Um, fortunately, you can tune these a little bit. You can EQ them a little bit in the app. Comparing to last gen, you can see that this one is just like a warmer version. Last gen, it was cooler. But the more interesting comparison is actually the Pro 2s, which look fairly close, but this is kind of just a better version. 
So th these new buds are the red line, and you can see that they're just way more consistently in band compared to the blue, whilst though still having kind of the same weakness, that again, that trough in the, in the low treble. And then comparing to the AirPods 4, not the Pros, just the regular 4s, that, which do have active noise cancelling, uh, and we had active noise cancelling on, on these Google Pixel Buds uh, throughout all these tests, by the way. On this graph, you can see that what you're really gonna gain here is consistency because this graph doesn't show it, but we had, we were just all over the place. Every time we put those AirPods in, it sealed differently, and in particularly in the bass, sometimes it looked like it just really fell off, and then sometimes it, it did a better job. In, the, in this average, you can see the average is still quite a steep roll off compared to the lower notes that you can get out of these more consistently. And one other big difference you can see here is where the buds really drop off around 1.5K. The AirPods still have that little peak there, so that's gonna make them probably a little more shouty or honky, you know? <laughs> but if you're not happy, you can go into the app, the app, air quotes app, and do some EQing. Let's check it out. The reason I'm doing air quotes for the app is because you actually don't need to download an app. All of it is in the settings of your Android device. No guarantees for iPhone, I don't know what that looks like. So here we are in the Bluetooth kind of details page and you can see there's just some extra things. You can see we have a couple of quick controls for you know some of the things that are actually on the buds themselves like switching between noise cancellation, transparency and off. You can just manually do it there. You can choose the notifications and preferences for your digital assistants which, which can actually be Gemini on these. And you can turn on or off the, the ability to have like the multi-connect thing where like I'm listening on my laptop and I'm listening on my phone. You can also launch even more settings. And now that we're in here, we can finally see the EQ and also the touch controls, which let's just take a little side quest there. Use touch controls is just on or off. That's kind of cool, just in case. Sometimes you do get those like false positives, so it's, it's nice to have that. They really give you like no ability to change the controls. The only thing you can change is what the long press does. And that can either be the noise canceling or it can be the digital assistant. You get a single tap for press and play like normal, the double for next, the triple for back, that's all normal, but you can't change any of that. And critically, you can't adjust the volume. Even, I, I don't like adjusting volume with swipes, that sucks, but you can't even do that. You can on the pros, so I guess, are they like paywalling that? Personally, I, I think that's just like bonkers. That's not something that you should like have to pay extra for. It's just bad if you don't have it, that stinks. Um, I really don't like having to take my phone out of my pocket or, or reach down and, and touch it just to uh, adjust the volume, so... <clears throat> you got your ear tip seal check. Here's the... Oh, balance. What? Is this like if one of my ears is better than the other? It is. It's just like you're in your car stereo. I could like share earbuds with my like aged father-in-law. I could turn him up and keep me low. That's. Kind of interesting, but I'll probably never use that, personally. Might be great for you, though. And what we've been looking for, the equalizer. It's a lot more Mickey Mouse than some of the equalizers I've seen. Uh, as you can see, you only get five knobs, and they go up and down. Uh, it doesn't really say decibels. Minus 60 and plus 60, whatever that means. Uh, they have what? Do they have, yeah, some presets. Heavy bass, light bass, balanced. You can see them move around, and then if I tweak one, can I, I can save it. It's just called last saved. Can I save multiple? You can't have like profile one, two, and three. That stinks. And then there's an option to turn the volume EQ off. That's that's like it. When you turn it down, certain frequencies get boosted up because your ear doesn't isn't as sensitive to all frequencies equally. Does that make sense? The battery life kind of mid, honestly. Not very impressive. Seven hours from the buds themselves is nice, but you're only getting 20 total listening time with the case. That's with active noise canceling on. It's a pretty slim case, but it's not smaller than an AirPods case, and that battery life is definitely worse. You do get one hour of listening from just five minutes of charge, so that's cool. But I mean, maybe this matters to you or not. Like, maybe you got your watch, you put it on your bedside, you charge everything every day, you'll be fine. They're IP54 rated, so splashes, and like, wear them in the gym, sweat's not gonna mess with them. This is not an exceptional rating, it's very, this is a basic rating, even on, on budget earbuds. So what do I think of these guys? I think they're okay. They're okay. I think the out-of-the-box sound profile is better than some, and you have some ability to EQ, though I don't see any ability to 
upload your own custom EQ like we could on the Nothings, uh, which it was dope. Um, so I'm, that's kind of sorely missed here, but you know, they're pretty fine. And if you are just kind of on the fence or ambivalent about which ones you're gonna get, maybe vote with your wallet and get these ones that have the repairable battery thing just as a, you know, a signal that you think that is important to have and you want other people to do it. Thanks for watching Short Circuit, guys. If you like this video, go check out my unboxing of the Nothing Pro Here. 3s that I did a couple weeks ago or Linus's look at the new AirPods Pro 3s. That's what they're called, right? There's so many combinations of numbers and pros and non-pros and gliving.